Hello everyone, welcome back to lecture 4, part 5, scenes. We're going to talk about what are scenes, how to create them, when to use them. Now, one thing to understand about scenes that you don't always have to have multiple scenes. I have important notes here for you. It's the scene isolation that, remember, every change you make to a scene won't carry over to others, meaning that each scene has an independent view. And for the multiple scenes, it's not always necessary to create a multiple scene because you can always or can often manage everything in one scene, except if you are trying to create like a complex game or game that ha like have uh, multiple levels or something. But some people just decide to create multiple scenes to have, for example, let's say you have a farm and this farm has different weather, for example, snow, there like a spring, you can have like multiple scenes or a demo scene, for example. Now, one of the most important things that we're going to explain in this lecture is when you first create a new project, some of you might have this option to save a scene, which a lot of people does it wrong. Um, so you will have to not save a new scene, but if you do, you'll have to make it the default scene. So all your changes would um, would be like appear in whenever you upload the world or you like click play. So let's go to our project in Unity and start creating scenes. Now in Unity, if I go to the project panel, you can see here I have templates and inside the templates I have scenes and inside the scenes there's this room scene. Basically it's room broom.unity and then there's the room that has all the settings for that scene like the nav mesh, light maps and so on. Now, this scene is separate from all the other scenes. Right now, we only have one. We don't have multiple scenes. But to create one, there are a few different ways to do it. First, you can go to the scenes, for example, or any folder, and you can right click, create, and then find scene. Now, this is one way to do it. You just hit scene or scene template. Another way to do it is to go to file, and then you click on new scene. Now, this window will open up for you. And it will ask you what type of scene you want to create. Now there is empty high-res scene, basic URP, standard, empty, and basic built-in. You can go with basic URP or empty or standard or the empty or the empty high-res scene. I'm gonna go with the empty high-res scene for now, so I'm just going to hit create. And you can see now that all of our changes are gone. And this is because we are in a new scene, and this new scene is called untitled. Now you can see here that we have a bunch of stuff, like the basic cube, we have an RTS camera, and we have a spawn point, and we have all the basics that you need. Now to save this scene, you have to do like Ctrl S on your keyboard, and this will open up. Now you will find where you want to put this scene in, I usually like to do it in template, and then scenes. Now you need to give this a name, I'm gonna go ahead and call it example. This is just for, for the lecture, we'll just call it example, and hit save. And now you can see here in the project panel, we have inside the scenes folder, we have another scene called example, and we also have a folder called example. And again, all the scene settings goes inside this folder. Now you can see here, we have two of them. To be able to switch between them, you only double click on the scene itself. So for example, you can see here, it doesn't have any changes, it doesn't have anything, but if I double click on the room, you can see that my changes are back. And this is because this is a separate scene. Whatever we do here does not reflect the other scene. Now, if I wanna go back again, I double click on example, and you can see that I am in a different scene. Now, you can also drag and drop this inside here, so you can have like two scenes, but I don't suggest doing that. This is if, for example, if you wanna copy objects from here to, to the first scene, for example, you can just go ahead and do this, <laughs> but you don't have to do it. So I'm going to unload the scene by clicking three dots, unload, and then you can just remove it by clicking three dots again, and then remove scene. Now, one of the main issues that everyone faces is, or face, is whenever you create a new scene or you start a new project, sometimes it asks you or prompts you to create a new scene and you just do it and you just give it a name and you don't realize it. So what to do is you have to go to high rise and then world settings. Now, this window will open up for you and in here, you'll have a section called scenes that's minimized for you. You expand it, and in the scenes, you can expand the first one that you have, and here it says you have room. Now, a lot of you 
have multiple scenes but you don't know it to to check if you have multiple scenes what you can do is i'm gonna minimize this and i'm going to go to project actually let's just remove this for now and i'm going to go to the project and in the project i'm going to locate the search bar and type t scene and you can see here that this will show all the scenes that you have now make sure you select in assets because in assets means that this these are the scenes that you have in the project but if you go to all or in packages this will display all the other uh, scenes that unity or pyrise package offers so i'm gonna select in assets and you can see here that we have two of them now here you can tell which one you have made changes for by double clicking on it but let's say you want this scene to be the default one but every time you click play or you upload the world to high rise it doesn't show this scene instead it shows another scene now one way to do it is to go to high rise then world settings and in here you can see here that the default room uh, the default scene is room now you can change that by dragging the other scene like for example the one, the scene that's called example and you can put it in here this is one way now example is the main scene another way to do it is to click plus icon here and you can drag and drop room or you can click on this little circle right here and you can select which scene you want if i select scene you can see it says none but if i go to assets it's going to show you me both of them and if i click on this eye icon right here it's going to show all the scenes that are in the package project and basically in everything that we have here in the project panel so i'm going to hide them again and i'm only going to work with these two now let's say you want to have multiple scenes you can keep those but what you can do is you can organize them so if you want room to be the first one you simply drag it there's like two small lines here you drag it and put it in here and then Control s to save and you just exit and now if i hit play you can see now i am editing or i'm in the example scene but if i hit play this is going to spawn me in the room scene so i'm going to show you by clicking play you can see now that we loaded into the room the one that we used to own or we were editing before so this is exactly what happens when you select a or you set a scene as a default but you have a new edit another scene so if i exit the play mode you can see here that we don't have any changes and again this is because we have that scene by default so whenever you make changes don't panic if you don't see them when you hit play or if you upload the world and this is only because that you forgot to set that scene as a default and this is how to do it if you have any question please let me know in the comments and in the lex next lecture we are going to explain or learn how to import assets from the asset catalog